So regarding signing, one thing why I said to get there before time was because you can then see each time uh, your favorite factory rider, whoever, they have little stamps that tell you, you know, they'll be here at 12.15, 12.45, whatever. When you get there sooner, you can kind of plan it out and who you want to go see to get signed. Because I'll be honest, some of those lines could be easily a half an hour to 45 minutes long. You should have saw uh, Jet Lawrence's. You ever heard of Knuckles? Yep. Knuckles Burger. Wait, did you say in and out? Yep. And uh, Tomax, they, those lines are huge. But anyways, I am a factory Kawasaki person. I've always have been. Uh, I know riding this is different, but you know what? I can't afford a $10,000, $11,000 dirt bike. It's a freaking toy. So I really wanted to get Jason Anderson's signature. He's one of the writers that I've really always enjoyed. So I wanted to definitely get his signature, but I did also realize that Adam Chinchinil Chincharillo. I keep saying, I'm sorry if I mess up your name and you see this video. I do apologize. Hey guys, it's Adam Chinchinillo. Uh, Chin Chin Chincharillo. Uh, something like that but anyways i didn't know that he, i forgot that they were both there on the same team and so was levi kitchen so i was like dude this is great so i stood there for about maybe i'd say about 45 minutes and i was about maybe 15 people behind maybe 20. it was really cool seeing how you know he just got done doing the qualifying and i saw jason he he literally just really quick just got done qualifying came back went to go get something to eat obviously and then or to the restroom whatever and flew right back and forth little scooters it was really cool seeing that as i'm sitting there and and it's finally our time for the signatures. I was noticing not a lot of people wanted to get Adam's signature. They were kind of more focused on Anderson and Levi Kitchen. And why? Because they're doing really good. Uh, Adam has been, you know, struggling here and there. But guys, I was just watching. People were just kind of like, eh, whatever, eh, whatever. I was like, dude, I felt for him a little bit. And so I purposely said, hey, when I got to my turn, I said, thank, I thanked him. And I said, can I do a selfie with you? And he was like, absolutely. And then when he took the selfie, I looked at him and said, hey, thank you so much for what you've done for the sport of, of Supercross and motocross, you know, really just having a good time and being such a cool guy about things you could li honestly see that he was really nice about it just a nice guy you know jason <laughs> on the other hand it was so funny he was in his own like little world and so didn't really even care so when he signed mine he was like whatever but i was purposely getting my hat signed matter of fact hold on this hat right here i had my pro circuit and i realized kawasaki uh pro circuit that <laughs> jason anderson Levi Kitchen and Adam Chinterleo. Hey guys, it's Adam Chinterleo. Sorry again, they're all part of the same team. So it was really kind of convenient. So anyways, I had all of them signed and when Adam signed it, that's his signature. And again, I'll show you a different picture of it. When it came to Jason, you could tell he was so out of it that he did sign it, that's right here. But you could see it's actually a silver marker slash black marker <laughs> i think he forgot to get the silver and if not he didn't realize it was going out so i got anderson's signature but it's pretty much black and you can barely see it and then what i laughed was and again i got levi kitchens right here and again you know when he won the triple crown that night that was really cool so anyways i thought that was pretty tight but uh, anywho, yeah, so I could just notice that people really didn't care necessarily about Adam. They were like, yeah, whatever. Right when I got everybody assigned my stuff and I was on my way exiting, I kind of just looked at all three of them. I said, hey, you know what? You guys have the best job there is. And now mind you, Levi Kitchen is younger than my son. <laughs> You're old. So seeing on how good of a writer he is, he is just, again, another wonderful talent in the sport, but realizing how young these guys really are, you know, I think Adam's only 27 and uh, Jason, I want to say maybe later, maybe he's in his 20s. I don't know, maybe 30s, but I just looked at him and I said, hey, I want to thank you guys so much for being in this sport. You have the best jobs there is. Have fun tonight. You know, have a good time. Don't worry about that. And that was the first time I saw Jason. He actually looked at me, made eye contact. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> and was like, thanks bro like like you appreciate that and Levi Kitchen looked at me and kind of was like you know what that yeah cool thanks bro and Adam I could just see in his face he was just like thanks 
and knowing that that was the race that defined him wanting to retire. He probably already made that decision already, but because of the accident, we'll talk about that later. And I got that on footage too. <laughs> And you'll hear my voice. I was super bummed for him. And you'll hear it. I just wanted to kind of give my little rant rave on that. So you guys want to get your signatures, you can. You can meet all your favorite writers. You're gonna have a really good time. And it was a wonderful gift, uh, again, from my wife. Want to give her huge credit. And uh, yeah, let's dive into the rest of this stuff. Okay, guys and gals, again, wanna thank you so much for watching this video. I had, a, again, absolute blast with my family in St. Louis. I'm planning to also attend the Charlotte in September 7th, and hopefully by that time, I will have up to 500 subscribers so you can actually see what my ugly mug looks like. <laughs> and then you can actually say hi to me if you do see this video. And I can only get that if you guys get me to uh, 500 to 1,000. I'm literally 100 subscribers away from a 500 subs. And for everybody that thinks whatever, I value and I really do appreciate everybody that ever does sub to my channel. Thank you so much for that. I really do appreciate that. I hope that uh, Jason Anderson does really well. I'll talk another video on why I like him so much. And also, Levi Kitchen, man, you have a future ahead of you. You're such a talented writer. Keep it up. So is all three of these guys and everybody else that's on that track. Anybody that's a professional writer, you, you guys are awesome. Keep it up and uh, have fun. And just remember, have fun with your job. It is a job but don't remember it as a job, remembering it as it's a sport that you get to do for a living and how fun you can make it depends on the way you want to take it. So don't treat it like a job, treat it like you're just basically get the ride dirt bikes every day and a lot of people would love and dream to do what you do. So that's it, hope you guys enjoy, take care and I'll see you later, bye.